Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and guess what? I've decided to do a full series on GameCorp DX. I've had a lot of people actually respond both by email and in the comments of the first impressions video saying, please, please, please do a series. And you know what's funny is I, since I actually did that first impressions video, I haven't played it since. And I'm feeling kind of silly because it is really, really fun. And uh, I, so I really haven't explored the game all that much yet still, even after all of that. So I would love to do a series. And uh, you know, hey, I, thanks for, you know, leaving all the comments and letting me know what you'd like to see on the channel because that does make an impact on me. And sometimes, you know, you, with some videos that I put up that are first impressions videos, you know, I get one or two people saying, hey, do a video on this. And, you know, I'm like, okay, one or two people, whatever. But this was like, I don't know, there must have been at least a hundred people, including the people that actually sent me emails to say, please do a series on this. So, of course, we're going to do a series, but we're going to start a brand new game and we're, you know, we're going to build the best game company ever. We're going to build the this major Uber AAA company and it's going to be amazing. Uh, like I said, I still haven't played that much of this. I still haven't even made it past it. Like the last time I played this was the last first impression video did, that I did. So we're going to start all over. So let's find a good icon for our real studio, for the thing that we really want to build here. Ah, uh, something that's trendy and cool and kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I love it. So we're going to call this mm, Spiky Balls. <laughs> Balls with a Z because that's trendy. With a capital Z and no, no, with a regular Z. And we're going to call it Spiky Balls Co. <laughs> Spiky Balls Co. is going to be the best game company ever. I promise you that. All right, and we're gonna do the campaign. We're gonna do it on hard difficulty because the game's not that difficult. Well, at least, well, it might get more difficult. I have no idea. I'm super excited to see the end game on this or at least the mid game. We only saw the very beginning. So we're gonna turn off the tutorial. No tutorial this time. We don't need it. Uh, yeah, so see you later, dude. All right, so we're gonna hire our first worker. Hopefully we get a good guy. Some go oh, we got two good guys right away. So yeah, Bruce here, Bruce. No, we don't want Bruce because Bruce, produces worse quality. He's unfocused. Bruce, man, you gotta get it together, dude. But, uh, Way, Waycy? <laughs> we can't, we can't change her name. Oh, whoops, hired. Well, hired, done. Well, he, he, he didn't have any negative attributes. He didn't have any positive ones either, but, you know, he didn't have any negative ones. So we've got a Tim D here as well, who's got a really awesome haircut. How do you get it to stand up like that, Tim? All right, you're hired. I'd love your haircut. And Way, Way and Tim. Well, it looks like Way's got something crazy going on oh he's got a little little funny mustache and a monocle <laughs> all right let's get these guys to work right away so we are going to build our first game and of course your first game is always going to be garbage <laughs> we fully expected it. it's going to be like some crappy browser game but that's okay um let's see what's trending shooters seem to be kind of the, nothing nothing's really exceptionally trending shooter seems kind of be you know kind of the best thing now these micro games i don't really care about naming them too much so what i'm going to do with the micro games is just add something to it so portal planet fps losers <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Portal Planet F. This is why their first game is terrible. It's always terrible because the name. We can't figure out a name. So, I don't know. I think we'll just do, you know, the same old. So, uh, Way's going to take care of coding and sound. And, of course, Tim's going to take care of art and writing. It doesn't really matter for this first one. Although, this will give Way a lot more experience in coding and Tim a lot more experience in art. So, that's actually pretty good. So, we can actually eventually specialize them in those areas. All right. So, let's do this. 2,800 bucks to get that started. And away we go. So, they're going to go do some planning. Whoops, 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 whoops. We're going to watch as they plan here. I gotta learn the keys. I think it's Q, yes, Q and E. Yeah, there we go, Q, that pre-production, there we go. So <laughs> pre-production, we only got seven. Yeah, it's not gonna be very, uh, oh, he's already needs some water. All right, so let's fix that right away. Um, what I like to do, oh, actually, let's make sure they're done drinking and stuff. There we go. So what I like to do is move, and I think I did this last time, I'm not sure. Move the fridge and the water cooler nice and close. And, uh, Oh, yeah, so even though the tutorial's off, there is st it still sort of happens in the background. So as you can see here, it says build a training cubicle, and it's going to give me 6,000 bucks if we do that. So we might as well just do these little things too as well. Make a few bucks. I don't know, it's kind of silly that it's this... this. I, I think... Th I wish you could, like, totally turn off the tutorial thing, so... Because it seems a little too good to be true. Like, I'm going to spend 6,000, and I'm going to get 6,000. So it doesn't cost us anything. All right, so, and then our next mission is, of course, to publish a project. And we're up to 1920 quality. It is coming along. Oh, and now we're... Uh, 
Oh, poor Tim. He's had a hard day. Just have a nap, Tim. You did a good. You did good work. You did good work, Tim. <gasps> no, don't leave. The job's not done. Have a nice night. Oh, that's terrible. So month number one. So uh, I guess you start in uh, August. So now it's we're moving, or we started in September, and now we're moving into August. We lost thirteen thousand six hundred sixty-six dollars in our first month because of salaries, projects, and building. But that's okay because. Next month is going to be better. We're going to finish our first project and we're going to make 35,000 as a bonus. That's pretty impressive, I think. Um, we could probably, oh, day two. You know what? We're going to take a look and see if we can hire some new workers too. <gasps> look, two guys already. Ah, oh, James, I love your rice hat. That is amazing, James. Um, you're, that's a really awesome hat. And I think, oh yeah, Tyson. So Tyson would be cheaper, but Tyson arrives later than usual. And that's, no, Tyson, even though you've got just as trendy a hat as James, that's unacceptable. So James, you're it. And you've got a cool little shirt. Looks like a little, uh, maybe a little Star Trekky. I don't know, but you're in James. And of course, we're also going to hire uh, the other guy. Uh, Omar, Omar has the best shades and squiggly on his shirt. So Omar is it. So they don't start with any abilities. So it's funny, like it's, oh, they're completed. They're, they're done their, pro eh, their first project. Portal Planet SP FPS losers. For the name itself, we should be punished by a uh, total crumpet. So here we go. And we're not gonna, of course, we're not gonna put any money into, should we put any money into marketing? Probably not. You know what, let's, let's do it. You know what, my, I don't know, it's our first project. It's, it's a terrible idea to put money into marketing at the beginning, but it's so cheap. It's only 1400 bucks, so let's do it. Uh -huh. Be gentle, be gentle, total crumpet. Bloody awful, controls don't work, and it's one of the worst ports I've ever seen. Don't waste money on Portal Planet FPS losers. <laughs> VGN, if you have $5 to spend, spend on something other than this garbage. Uh, Boulder Paper Shotgun, you, you thought you'd seen it all, but wait, there's more. Portal Planet FPS losers, one of the most horrendous games of this generation. Wow, uh, Coca-2, uh, games is bad should be illegal. Oh my God, you guys are just brutal, man. All right, that's fine, that's fine, it's our first project. But we've already got four people in our team already. Should we risk a, a small game? No, no, no. We're gonna do, we're gonna wait for, well, we're gonna start a new project right away um, for our guys here. So we've got one guy that's really getting better at coding and one guy that's getting better at art. And I wanna keep them sort of focused on that. So let's find another game that's kind of coding and art uh, that's a little more trendy. The only thing that's trendy right now is adventure. Oh, and that's writing. That's all writing. Um, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. We could do another shooter, but nah, that's, that's silly. Let's do like a, ooh, simulation's really low. Role-playing, that, well, yes, or strategy. It doesn't matter. Everything's really low on the list of, oh, here we go, puzzle, 66, perfect. We'll do that. We'll do a puzzle game. Not really high in coding, but that'll give uh, my one, uh, the one guy lots of skill in art. So let's do that. Yeah, so Tim D, you are going to be our art guy, and of course, Way, you're going to be our coder. And I guess you guys might as well just share the rest of the duties just like that. Perfect. Awesome. I think that'll work really well. And away you go. And then our other two guys are going to be specializing in, of course, uh, music and writing. So let's get another project going right away. They're not even here yet. We're going to give them a job to do, right? So why not? Uh, oh, actually, we can't do that until... Well, we can, actually. We need to get another table so they can all, you know, chat, do the pre-project, pre-work -pre stuff. Okay, so we want something with uh, high intensive music or and or writing. There's nothing really balanced here. Uh, well, horror is not bad, and actually it's pretty popular, so let's do that. Horror game, I'm not even looking at the names of the games. Sorry about that, guys. I should be, I should be paying attention. So big attack, uh, really? <laughs> uh, big attacking creeps. There we go. They're personalized it. Big attacking creep. So I don't know what the other one's named. Rome hit. Oh, Rome hit puzzle game. That's terrible. Big attacking creeps is just as bad for a horror game, but whatever. All right. So we're going to go do a horror game. And of course, I want them to mix, you know, do the coding and the art together. And then the sound is going to be all James and the writing is going to be all Omar. Yeah, lots of sound work on that one. So James should get lots of good experience. All right. Way you go. Done and done. Now, we need to get another table. They're not even here yet, so I might as well put it on normal speed. Uh, these guys can go do the pre-production stuff, but we need another table so that the other guys can do their work, their pre-production stuff. And you don't want to put the tables together. If you put the tables together, it counts as one table, right? So you got to have them separate, so like that. And uh, it was, the game wants us to buy a plant. Actually, what we're going to do... Oh, no. Too late. They've already got in there. So we're going to buy another plant. We're going to buy a plant. We're going to put it... Uh, 
let's see, let's put it... Let's put it over here. This will give some ambiance for them while they're doing some of this pre-product production work. I suppose we could put another plant here too. Yeah, so lots lots of plants. Plants don't hurt anything. Like they, they see see how it starts to green there? That actually shows up. I think I mentioned this before, but you can see it there environment. So it, the better their environment, the better the work they do. So more plants the better, right? Um, but we don't have a lot of space to work with, so that's the problem here, is uh, now, if whoever's working, so Omar, this is Omar's station, when he wants to use a fridge, he's got to go all the way around to the fridge here, so that's kind of a pain, so I'd like to move these workstations over one, and then these tables over one, so that Omar can get over on this side, and then they can, yeah, it'll all work out better, or I could put a space in between the tables, oh, that's a good idea, yeah, we'll do that, I like that, although then this plant will be further away. I don't know. I have no idea. It's going to be a little bit of a trick. Eventually, we're going to have a massive, massive, massive office with, you know, dozens of people working here. So pre-production for Rome Hit. Oh, no. Oh, pre-production, yeah, for Rome Hit is done. They're already up to 13, 14. That's pretty good. Um, I think there was lots of art in that one. So, of course, uh, Wei, I think, is our artist. Is it Wei? No, it's uh, Tim, who, are, who is our artist, is working hard on that art, and it's going to take him a little bit longer. Whereas, and now we've got uh, big attacking creeps. Ooh, pre-production. Uh, yeah, they're very green. Poor James. He's got an awesome hat, but he's very green. He's very new to this team, and so is Omar. So, yeah, they got they got their work cut out for them. It doesn't look like it's going to be a very... Although, yeah, most of their stuff was in music. That's right. It's very music-oriented, because horror, right? The horror games, apparently... Lots of music and horror, I guess. <laughs> and the, the the coding and the art goes by really fast when they're both working on it together. You notice that? But yeah, now that uh, that that music's gonna take a long time because yeah, wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed it up here. Oh, uh, let's just check our thing. So objectives. Oh yeah. So we need another. Oh, publish another micro scale. So they're working on that. So yeah, objective completed by a second table for workers. Oh yeah, we've got all these bonuses already. Get a worker skill to 20% already? We've already got somebody to 20%, that's awesome. That must be uh, definitely uh, Tim. Tim's up to 20%, wow, look at him. His, his art skill is amazing. All right, so place a meeting table next to another to merge the table together, making a room, uh, making, making a room with more slots. Making a table with more slots, I think, is what they're trying to say. I don't know. Uh, project doesn't have a room. A pros uh, whatever. I think this is all. This is all old messages anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're on track. We're on track. We know what's going on. We know what's going on. Let's speed this up just a little bit. You guys work away. Let's see if we've got a competitor yet. While you guys. Oh, it pauses when I. Oh, yeah. I don't want. I don't want it to pause while I'm here. So yeah. So we've got a new competitor called Vlampier, and he has the very pronounced and strong squiggly <laughs> as his icon but he's already produced a game that's of course got a lot of fans 369 fans and uh it's high, pretty good quality but how do you get so many fans that's crazy he's only got one game and let's take a look at this game so nucle nuclear throw nuclear how does he have so many fans already or Vlampyr, how do they have so many fans? But we've got already a bigger team. We're gonna we're gonna overproduce. We're gonna produce so much. It's gonna be amazing. Best games ever. Oh, published. Oh, ah, 43. Hey, that's pretty good for our second game. That's not bad at all. We're gonna put some money into marketing. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think for 2,000 bucks, honestly, that's nothing. Might as well publish. Woohoo! Rome hit. Total Crumpet. If you want a good game, Rome Hit is not for you. Use your five bucks to buy something decent instead. But it's got one and a half stars. That's better. VGN, don't expect anything good to come out of Rome Hit. It's one of the worst games around. Yikes. The queen, uh, the queen shall hear about Rome Hit, and she shall burn every copy with her flaming monkey legion. Really? The queen shall hear about Rome Hit, and she shall burn every copy with her flaming monkey legion. Amazing. Uh, games of this quality belong on the freebie trash bin. Rome hit is terrible and no one should get near it. Wow. Well, we got 30 fans. Um, we are not going to be a puzzle game company, I don't think. That was crazy. It's almost nighttime. Come on, guys. Finish the game. Finish the music. Oh, no. Don't go home. You lazy son of a... Omar. I wear my sunglasses at night. Yeah, you think you're so trendy. That's okay. It's all right, Omar. It's all right. I don't even know if he's my music guy. I think James is my music guy. James, dude, you only have like 10 seconds to go. Man, all right, well, and this game is not gonna be very good. It's gonna be worse than, of course, Rome hit. 
Better name though, Big Attacking Creeps. Maybe we'll get points for that. So month two, October, we have lost $20,346. We, can't ta we cannot maintain a company like this. We are getting all these bonuses, so our money's okay. Um, but if we were... Oh, now we're ready to do a small-scale project. We could uh, we could actually do that next time. I I'm, I'm stoked. We're going to do a small-scale project. We're just going to let uh, James... Come on, James. We're waiting for you, man. Everybody else is sleeping at the desk. James, he's always so slow. Oh, there he goes. He's done. All right, publish. And there we go. We might as well put some money behind this in marketing. I don't know if the, I think it's a bad idea to do that, to market something that's so terrible. You know what? We're not going to do it. Not for a game that's only worth uh, 30, uh, 30 skill points. Like, that's that's terrible. We did get some fame, but yeah. Uh, dude, cheap cash charging, terrible expense. Wow. Uh, just played awful. I don't understand what's going on with in the devs' heads. Well, if you th think you've seen very bad, uh, I've seen a very bad game. There is, of course, there is a worse one. Well, hold on. If you, well, if you think you've seen every bad game, there is. Well, there's a worse one. This one is what they're saying. This is amazing in a terrible way, that is. Asking $5 for bit, at, bit attacking creeps is highway robbery. You're probably right. This was not This was not our best work. Oh, actually, before we... No. Oh, man, I just thought of something. Oh, we haven't even, uh, we haven't even trained anybody yet. Oh, you know what we need to do? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Because we need to give guys specializations so that uh, we can start producing some really good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to train two people at a time. And while the other two people are training, of course, we're going to do a new project and give our new te newer team a little bit more experience under their belt. So that would be our... Uh, who is that? Hold on. Let's be sure we know who we're dealing with here. So that is Omar and James. Make sure Omar and James. So that is our music guy and James is our music guy and Omar is our writer. Okay, so let's make sure that we give them something appropriate to work on while our other two guys do some training. So let's give them a new project, something that's, again, really focused on um, music and writing. At least one of the two. Wow. Uh, 90. Yeah, we're definitely going for adventure. Like, it's up to... Lots of people really want adventure games right now. So we're going to do an adventure game. Hype pigs. Um, hype pigs in... Tr hype pigs in buses at... <laughs> on streams. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> Hype pigs on in buses is good enough. There we go. And of course, exclamation point, because that makes it so much better. All right, so adventure game, continue. Okay, it's just James and Omar. They're on the job. All right, so Omar is our writer and James is our music guy, and they can, of course, uh, blend their work on the coding and art. There we go. And continue. Do a good job, guys. Do a good job. This is your second job. You're going to do a great job. And of course, our other two guys are going to do some training. Um, so we've got uh, Wei, who's of course going to be our coder. He's going to be training in code and United, or Unity. And we've got uh, our other guy, who is Tim, who's going to be working on art, and he's going to be doing some work in Photoshop. <laughs> the literal spelling of Photoshop. Excellent. There we go. So those guys are going to do some training while we do some pre-production on Hype Pigs. Hype Pigs in Buses. <laughs> it sounds like something fun to play. If it was like a Java game, Hype Pigs and Buses, that sounds like a fun game to play. Sorry, I'm going to have to drink a coffee here. One second. Ah, very nice. This is such a fun game. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting a really, really big office with dozens of people. That is going to be the best, where we're building the best games ever. Pre-production, ah, three, four, five. Come on, let's hit a 10. Come on, let's go up to 10. Nine. 10, yay, even pre-production, that's better. That's better, guys. You, I know you can do better than that, but okay. And Tim, of course, Tim and, no, Tim and Wei are working away, learning that some new skills. I'm really excited for them. Hopefully everything kind of times together. Oh, <laughs> James is sleeping because his work was done. Yeah, there was a lot of writing in Hype Pigs and Buses because Hype Pigs and Buses, of course, I imagine would be very, very script oriented because the pigs, of course, have I don't know, an adventure game in buses with pigs. I don't know, it's gotta be good, man. And look at all the writing, like lots of dialogue. Oh, it's gonna take days to finish this. Oh man, another month goes by, but we produce some games. I should look at how our games are doing. So, oh, we've actually got some income. We did, we're not making money, but we've got some income. So we're spending uh, most of our money sort of balanced around salaries, projects, building and training right now. Um, but we have made 17,000 from our games. That is amazing. Hold on. Really? How 
did we make 17,000 from our games? Our games must be doing okay. Uh, oh, Portal Planet FPS Losers has actually made $1,849. And Rome Hit, well, they've made more than that. The revenue has been 8675 but they've actually made a profit after all of the expenses and wages and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, Rome Hit has made an enormous amount of money, but Rome Hit is, is like the best game we've had so far, and everybody hated it. <laughs> but we've made $5,381 and a total of $11,000, almost $12,000 of revenue. That's incredible. Bit Attacking Creeps, we won't talk about Bit Attacking Creeps. That, but uh, let's see how we're doing compared to, uh, uh, what's the other game company? Uh, Vlampyr. Oh, we're ready to publish our new game. Oh, it didn't do very well. Hype pigs and buses. Vlampyr is, is kicking our... Proverbial, per, per, proverbial butt. Oh, that's not good. But I don't know. We're 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 gonna we're gonna wipe them up. I we we may not do well in the awards ceremonies, but we're we're gonna clean up. Uh, I don't think we're gonna market this one. I just don't think that's a good idea. Let's not market our worst things. Although the writing's got to be fantastic. Buyer beware. Hype pigs in buses is a horrible game. Adventure genre genre is <laughs> genre genre is more than crowded with crappy games. Oh, poor mechanics, poor gameplay, horrible aesthetic. Hype pigs in buses is a disaster. Boulder paper shotgun. Hype pigs in buses. Hype pigs in buses. Hype pigs in buses. Bloody awful, mate. <laughs> they just wanted me to say that multiple times. Adventure games are usually good, but this, good lord, don't even think about it. Oh man, this is worse than this is worse than Rome hit for sure. Oh man, that was terrible. All right, so we have uh, four members. Okay, so actually what we're gonna do, oh, pause, pause. We're gonna get our other two guys training. So we're gonna get uh, James and Omar training now because they need, they need some serious skills, man. James, you are gonna be our music guy. So yeah, train in trout loops. <laughs> I don't know what, what package that is, but I'm sure it's, uh, uh, okay. So, oh no, uh, we want Omar in writing and word pod. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, you guys go train. Well, the other two guys are going to do their first micro game, but this time they have some skills, some mad skills, bro. All right, and they are coding and art. So let's find something that's kind of balanced coding and art. Shooter would be okay, um, but we want something that's, you know, trending a little bit too. It doesn't look like uh, role playing. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Strategy. Now, there's not much art in strategy. But uh, there's a lot of coding, coding involved in the strategy game. So um, we're going to call this Mod Justice After School. I wish I could make longer names. I don't know. It's terrible. Mod Justice After School. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Too much glue this morning. I don't know. All right, so continue. There we go. Way and Tim, do a good job. You guys have some mad skills in coding. He's going to use a United, and of course, uh, Buddy is going to use Art Photoshop. Perfect. And create. How much did that cost? I don't know. It cost a lot of money. It cost more than usual. All right, so get to work, guys. All right, and my other two guys are going to go do some training. See, this is moving along quite nicely. I. It's going to cost a lot of money to do our first small project. Uh, pre-production, come on guys, do a good job in pre-production. They're already up to six though, and they're not even done the coding part. Look at this, 10, do we hear a 15, 12, 13, oh, 13, you guys are fired, man. You guys are totally fired. No, stay out of the, stay out of the fridge. All you guys do is eat all day, anyway. Eating my chicken. Look at, look at the chicken. It looks, it does look like delicious chicken, doesn't it? It's got a nice hearty piece of meat and a big bone sticking out of the end. I want to just grab that and eat that caveman style. Mmm, chicken. And this looks like, I don't know, it doesn't look like water. <laughs> like it's a really messed up glass of water. And why is it, you know, it's turned, I don't know. It's almost, oh, yeah. Well, we're still making money. We made 17,470 this month, but it's not more than what we made last month. And we have more releases. That's not good. Um, so we're actually, I would say we're downtrending. Uh, we ha we'll have to look at some of the graphs, but I don't know. Total, we've lost 13,270 this month. This is not good, folks. Not good. Uh-oh. And we're here at the uh, 2015 Video Game Studio Awards with Spiky Balls Company and, uh, or, yeah, company. I don't know, Co. We'll just say Co. And Vlampyr. So the most productive studio is given to the studio with the most releases. And, of course, that'll be us. Hands down, unless they really surprise us. Yes, we got it. So that means we'll have cheaper wages for our people. Excellent! That will make a difference because we're spending a lot on our people. We have a lot of people. Uh, most beloved studio is given to the studio that has the most fans. And that's, of course, Vlampyr. I don't know how they did that, but they have the most fans. Hands down. They had like almost 400. It was ridiculous. 
I think they're cheating. Vampir? Cheating. Uh, they must have actually an ex-programmer from, like, or an ex-developer from a big company or something. Like, I don't know. It's got Richard Garriott or something. All right, so we've got Vlampyr. Uh, oh, sorry. Highest turn game goes word to, uh, word goes to Vlampyr. Of course. They're, his employees are going to work faster, too. Fantastic. And highest revenue studio is given to the studio that managed to make the most revenue this year. Probably Vlampyr because they had that big, they have all those fans. I mean, how could they not make more money? Ah, son of a... All right, well, do I get an award for being largest studio? Here we go, largest studio, largest team in the industry. We've got this one hands down. We must. Word goes to, yay, that means we get a sales boost. We need that, spiky balls. Yes, I love my spiky balls. That's all for this year's edition. We wish the best of luck to all studios and hope to see them again in 2016. I'll be back and I'm cleaning house, man. All right, here we go. And everybody is sleeping comfortably at home and it's time for you to come to work. It's like seven in the morning. Why are they starting at seven? Whatever happened to, you know, being eager? Come on, guys. Oh, we're ready to publish Mod Justice After School. That's how you're supposed to say it, by the way. All right, and uh, publish. This is the best game we've had so far at 52. Um, we're gonna give it a little bit of a uh, 6,000 bucks? Really, that's a lot of money. We, we can't afford that right now because we, we need to build a small game after this and that's going to be super expensive. And we did get 36 fans. That's all right. All right, Total Carpet. Mod Justice After School is a, a good concept. It sadly was badly impl implemented. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, come on, man. Mod Justice After School is plain awful. I don't understand what was going on in the dev's head. It's it's not, I don't know. He It was James. I, it was James. Um, well, uh, some say that Mod Justice After School has been in development for 20 years. Maybe that's why it's so dated and bad. Oh, at least it gave me two stars. That's good. Uh, games this bad should be illegal. Uh, you've already said that about other games. But you gave this a one star. Come on. you got to say something different. All right. So we're ready to do a small game, I think. I think we're done training. Oh, no. These guys need to finish. Just finish what they're doing here. We'll just let them finish up. You guys have a nap while that's happening. There's not much else we can do right now. Just waiting for these guys to finish their training. Uh, they're so close. He's working on his trout loops. <laughs> his fishy loops. And word pod. I, yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. So close. Oh, I guess I couldn't blame the last game on James. It wasn't James's fault. All right. So we're ready to do our first small game. We've got four people available. All of them have some mad skills. We've got Tim with art. We've got uh, Wei with code. I'm trying to remember their names. Um, I can't rename the guys in this game. I would love to do that, but it won't let me. Um, and we've got Omar with writing, and we've got James in sound. All right, so very exciting. Let's start a brand new project. Oh, no, before we do that, we're going to have to take out a loan. Yes, we need to take out a loan um, because there's no way we're going to have enough to do a publish a small game with, with $77,000. We're going to need lots of money. I think we'll take out two loans of $30,000. That means we're spending an, another $5,000 a month just lost. In, in, in repaying that. Oh, it's terrible. All right, so let's start a new game, new project. This is going to be, a, oh, look, nothing is like super trendy. Racing's okay, I guess, but nothing's over 100. Oh, I would wait, but we, we can't afford to wait. We've got to do it now. So we're going to do a racing game. Blind, binding pop? Binding plop. Um, frog racing. Blinding plop frog racing seems like, oh, exclamation point, because that makes all the difference. It is going to be a small game, which means already right off the bat, there's $79,000 in expenses. Binding plop frog racing, frog, I can't even print out. I can't even say it. Blind, binding plop frog racing. It's kind of a tongue twister. All right, so there we go. New project, and this is going to be really sound heavy. But that's okay, we've got a sound guy, we've got an art guy, we've got a coding guy, and we've got a writing guy. Let's do a really good job, guys. They all got some really good skill. They're almost all 50% in skill. And we're going to give them, of course, the tools, the best toolable, tools available to us. State of the art, $102,000 that's gonna cost because all of these is like 3,400, uh, 6,000 for art, wow. And 9,000 for Unity, wow, crazy, okay. Create, and away we go. Come on, let's do some good, oh, we can't do our pre-production yet because we do not have two pay tables pushed together. They can't figure this out. Come on, guys, get with the program. You can figure this out. All right, we're gonna put the plant over here. We're gonna move this table here and we're gonna buy you another plant so that, you know, there, there, that looks, that looks pretty trendy. There, another plant, and you guys are gonna be like rocking. You guys are gonna be so happy. Actually, we're gonna move 
I'm gonna move the fridge over here. Just, you know, Omar can't reach it anyway. And we're gonna put another plant there because that'll improve the environment. I want this to be the, like the best, most amazing game you guys have ever created. I wanna put, you gotta put your heart and soul into this. All right, here we go. I think we're ready. I think we're ready, guys. Let's do it. We're going to Vancouver at some point. I don't know, that seems to be, it's one of the goals is to go to Vancouver, I don't know. <laughs> All right, might as well speed them up. Oh, let's see here, monthly till, oh yeah. Yeah, we're losing money. Ward ceremony was last month, uh, objective complete. All right, so yeah, our publish a small scale project is our next goal. We only have $15,000 in the bank, expenses are high. So we're putting everything behind this racing game. Binding plop frog racing is about binding your plops while racing your frogs. I would imagine it's kind of a cart racing game with frogs that are binding the plop as they race. Oh, it's terrible. So what, who, who thought of this name? Well, it was partly me. I, I, I guess I was responsible for the frog thing. Fortunately, I don't think Total Crumpet will care about the name. <laughs> I know he, I know Total Biscuit does in real life, but uh, we're already up to seven. It started off with 70 pre-production. That was amazing. And everybody goes home. <laughs> bye. Had, have a good sleep. Bye. Okay. They, they never say bye. Um, we, wow, we've made $27,000 in releases. That's amazing for this, this last month. January was a good month for us. Wow. So I guess, I don't know. That was good. January is usually not a good month for game sales, but what do you know? I, it's great. Uh, but we did spend $102,000 on new projects. Oh, 15,000 on salaries. We can't afford these people. Uh, as soon as as soon as we're done this, we're gonna fire everybody and start over. No, we're not. We're no, we're not. We're actually gonna we're gonna we're gonna expand the office and we're gonna use make good use of those skills. Come on, come on, James, Tim, Omar, and Way. Let's let's put it together, man. Let's let's make this the best game you've ever created. Look at this. We're already over 100 100 production. This is fantastic. It is gonna be so good. People are gonna be plopping frogs. In every country in the world, it's going to be the hottest thing that ever anybody, everybody is going to be talking about plopping frogs. I want to talk about plopping frogs. It's it's just, come on, I want to break 300. I know this is really, that's very sound oriented. So I'm really excited to see, uh, who's our sound guy again? I don't remember. Sound, this is James. This is James's game. If this, fa if this game, if this game fails, James, it's you. It's you, buddy. It's all you. We're going to break 300. We broke 300. Oh, we're going to do, we may even do like 350. This is, this is going to be a record for us guys. Record for me anyway, playing this game. This is as far as, pretty much as far as I've made it in this game ever is, is, is about where we are right now. Um, we're almost done with this episode, but wow, another day. Wow. This is expensive. It is a, I should be looking at the grass. Let's look at the grass. Um, while these guys finish it off, hold on, I'm gonna put this down, down to regular speed. I just wanna take a look. So yeah, Rome Hit is actually our best game so far. We've made $18,000 in profit for Rome Hit. That's pretty impressive. Um, but Hype Pigs and Buses is not doing very well at all. Uh, mod, these, mod Justice After School, I think it just needs more time. It's, it's still on the rise. Yeah, see, it's still rise. Oh no, and now it dropped. I, I think this is the, just a new month. It it may get better as the month go by, goes by. I don't know, but I don't know how are we doing against uh, against Vlampyr. Uh, Vlampyr has. Uh, let's take a look at the games. So Vlampyr's got hit their best game quality is 156. That's pretty good, considering our best game quality is what 52. Oh, yeah, we got a, we got a long way to go. His his he's got some awesome action games. That's that's what his focus is. Is all action games. See, that's what we should be doing. We should be focusing. But I don't know. I think we're I think we're making right choices. I think we're making the good choices to focus on games that are hopefully trending at the time. I don't know. Uh, I'm just wondering what's are they still? T <gasps> Look at racing games went up to 126. Oh, this is gonna be the best game ever. Plopping frogs is it? It's it's all about plopping frogs. I wish these guys weren't sleeping well. Poor old uh, uh, James is working his little hiney off to get this game out. Look at almost 400. Oh, come on, you gotta finish the game today. We can't afford another day. Come on, James. Here it goes, here it goes, he's gonna publish. There it goes, 385. Publishing, binding, plop, frog, racing. We are going to, uh, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna take out another loan so we can market this. Is that a bad idea? I think it's a bad idea, is that enough? Oh no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we have a lot of loans. A lot of loans, but I think this is important. This could be the end, the end of uh, Spiky Balls games. But um, I think, I think we're gonna do well here. I think this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be a hit. Binding, plop, frog racing, 385 quality. 
and we're gonna market it 51,000 bucks for marketing that's nothing if you think about games that's nothing all right let's do this come on total crumpet be, be gentle man hi look at this look at the stars look at oh what oh man you guys suck hold on total crumpet binding plop frog racing is the pinnacle of racing games go out and get it Dude, you have great taste. I think that was awesome. All right, VGN, uh, $15 may be a lot for this. It really brings nothing new to the table. Shut up. And uh, excellent from a Boulder Shaper, Paper Shotgun. Very good. And Koka Kotaku, if you have $15, spend it on something else. It's not worth it. Well, we got we got two good ratings, so I'm pretty happy with that. We've got lots of new fans and <sighs> crossing my fingers because, man, we have some loans to pay back. I mean, things. this is not going to go well if... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, I have, I got the hiccupsy kind of thing. So we've, we've got to finish the day. So we're going to start a new project because the game saves at the end of the day. So uh, I don't want to end the episode until we've actually started a new project. Oh, role playing looks pretty good. Kind of a balanced work. I mean, a little bit more writing than anything else. But yeah, let's let's do a role playing game. Zombie. Oh, here we go. This is a good way. Good start. Zombie. Right. No, no. Zombie. <laughs> Zombie moms. Moms. Eat. Eat. Dungeons. Oh, uh, this. My names. The names of my games are the best. Zombie moms eat. Eat dungeons. I would say the dungeons because that would be more proper. But I don't. I can't actually add any more characters. I was actually the exact amount of characters that I could add. So zombie moms eat dungeons. New role playing game from Spiky Balls in pre-production all right so continue oh can't afford oh wait we have no money <laughs> can i save this name oh this is an awesome name i'm see if i can control c that we I, I don't think we should take out loans maybe oh i know what we'll do i know what we'll do we will do two small small games we'll do a couple no micro games we're gonna do one uh, one role playing of course and we're gonna keep that name because that was an awesome name zombie mom eats dungeons and of course, that is going to be uh, two of our guys. Uh, let's see, uh, our coding guy. Because see, it tells you here, so it requires a lot of code. And of course, our writing guy. Continue. I should have paused it while I was doing this. Whoops. Whoopsie. Uh, continue. Yeah. Oh, we. I'll tap. Oh, right. So they need to do the other stuff too. So I'll have them. Share the share the load on the other stuff because it's a micro game. We, yeah, that's right. We're gonna only have two people, so do that. And we're gonna do another. So we need to wait until you know our current, you know our our top, our small game, our good game. I forget the name. The Binding Frog Racing game. We have to wait until that starts to produce some money. So let's do another new project. We're gonna do one that is gonna be focused on uh, art and sound. Is there anything focused on art and sound? Really nothing. Wow, people don't want to see racing games right now. I hope that's not reflective of our game. Oh no! How's that possible? Is it, I hope it's because we produced the best game ever. Why is that zero? Nobody wants... Oh my god. This could be the end of us. If our game doesn't... If our racing game doesn't do well, we're in, we're in big trouble. Alright, so... I guess we could do another role-playing game, but no, we don't want to do that. Let's do... Let's do a oh yeah perfect horror because that's that's heavy music okay so let's do that continue and I know I'm out of time I'm totally out of time and they will share the load on the other stuff so yeah uh, James on music and Tim on art and of course you guys can use your special abilities and done so and we'll just end the day and then we're gonna call this an episode because we're running too long and there we go that's the end of our day I hope you've liked our enjoyed our first episode of Game Corp DX. I'm really looking forward to just pumping out this game um, on YouTube because I've really been dying to play it and I'm glad you guys really want to see more of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care.